Hello everyone, this is Therese from Ideas for a Happy Home. Today's video is a continuation of long-term food storage. And I'm going to be talking about five gallon food grade buckets today and storing my Mylar bags in these buckets. The last video I had used the Mylar bags in storing the food and showing you how I did that. And today's video, I'm going to show you how the Mylar bags fit in the buckets and what I put on the buckets to show and keep record of everything with my food storage. So let me go ahead and move the camera so I can show you that. Okay, here are my food grade buckets. I have 20 of them and I bought them at Tractor Supply. You can get these buckets at any home improvement store, farm supply store. Now you wanna make sure the buckets say on them or at least are advertised at their store that they are food grade, heavy duty, BPA free buckets. Now with my buckets, I went ahead and put labels on them. What is inside and when those items expire for easy visual. And the lids themselves, any universal five grade bucket lid will suffice. In fact, we got our lids at Lowe's. And as I said before, the bucket was at Tractor Supply simply because Tractor Supply had cheaper buckets. Now, what I discovered was that with my Mylar bags, I had used gallon size bags. It worked the best for us to have three gallon size bags in the bottom and then three to four half gallon or MRE size bags at the top, just depending on how full the bags are. That seemed to work best. Now we had more smaller bags than gallon size, so um, towards the end we have just two gallon size in the bucket with six small bags in the bucket as well. Now, each bag is labeled with what's inside, when it was packaged, and when it will expire, which is that is written on the outside of the bucket. I took one more step in making sure we do not forget or somehow misunderstand what is in the buckets and when those items expire by putting a sheet of paper in each bucket. I print it up. So this is bucket two. And as you can see, I have the list of what's inside and when it expires. I also went ahead and wrote down how to prep the food that is in that bucket. So this bucket has powdered milk and powdered peanut butter and powdered eggs and pasta. Now my pasta, it is with instructions in the Mylar bag, but that way should someone else be given the bucket and they have never used dried beans before, it's right there on that piece of paper on how to soak the beans and how to prepare them in a simple manner, along with using powdered butter, powdered eggs, powdered peanut butter, rice, even instant coffee. I wrote a simple uh, instructions on that as well. I'm going to put each page that corresponds with each bucket at the top of the bucket and then seal it with this. This is an aluminum pail opener. It is something you can buy on Amazon. I believe it's just six, seven dollars. Great for tapping the lid down and opening the lid. You wanna be careful when you're using that lid and opening and closing it that you don't crack or damage the lid and this is a great tool for that purpose. So that is my short video on the food going in the buckets. My next video I'm gonna do, it will be regarding my documentation of the food preparing to decide what food was going to go into the buckets. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, thank you for watching Ideas for a Happy Home.